Hello. Welcome to another episode of Amiga Retro Adventures. Today's video will be relatively quick. It's about an LED modification I made to this Amiga 500 Plus you see before you. It's equipped with the Witcher 500i accelerator card. Basically, um, the card gives you a 68,000 CPU that you can overclock up to 50 megahertz, which I managed to get to 42, which isn't too bad. Gives you eight megs of RAM, which I have equipped, and a compact flash reader or a SD card reader or an actual hard drive. So basically you get an IDE port. So the issue was, other than like putting a hole in the case or sticking out of, you know, some people have it shine through the, the grate here that didn't look very professional because all the activity you always look for status is always in this area, especially if you have an Amiga 600 or a 1200, you'll know what I'm talking about. So I wanted the activity light to show up here. Well, one way you can do it is you can task the floppy indicator, LED, sorry, the status LED here, which is normally on this computer is orange, to flash also when the compact flash or whatever IDE device you have gets accessed. Well, I tried multiple ways. I, had a, I have a prototype board I tried. I've tried using your transistors, you know, simple circuits to switch it on, off and on uh, from the the Witcher 500 and I got it to work somewhat but whenever the hard drive would access this did light up or I'm sorry in my case my compact flash uh, the drive motor would actually turn on and off with the pulsing of the LED and that was not entirely desirable and I did not want to run it too long like that so I kind of gave up on that approach so I said well there's got to be another way to do this well indeed there is I'm going to read me Sorry, reboot this computer and I will show you. I will zoom in here to the LED. There we go. And I will reboot. And you'll see the, uh, it'll light up reddish in color when it accesses the compact flash. And as you can see, it doesn't look that bad. It's uh, not overly bright, but it will be brighter, you know, the longer the read or write access is. So it does vary in intensity, but it's definitely noticeable and it works really, really well. So I'm going to run sysinfo and I'm going to do a click, sorry, a quick drive test and you'll see how bright it gets. It's not bad. Pretty good. And just to show you that it still works and for floppy access, I will put a floppy in here and there you go your floppy access. I will eject that. So how did I do this you ask? Well it was kind of ingenious I must say. I, I'm not one for saying it was but it definitely was it works it works well. I will take this off and as you can as you can see you can see let me zoom in a bit more right about there tilt this a bit forward so you can see a bit more. Let me uh, take this off the pod, shall I? There we go. Oh, goodness, here we go. Okay. Focus a bit. It's always nice trying to get these in there. There we go. So all I did is I stuck two LEDs together and they fit nice and neatly between the power LED and the floppy LED. And this LED is simply hooked up to the other one right here. It's just hooked up in parallel. And then it gets driven by that wire right here. If I remove this one second, that's the Wiker board, the uh, 68,000 accelerator card. You can barely see it, the RAM module is right there. There's the ID interface right here. And this is the hard drive's um, LED hookup. So you, you could just, I could have just hooked up a regular LED and then just, you know, had it sticking out of the case or drill the hole in the case. I did not want to do any of that, actually. So that's basically how, if I can get this back in here, that was hooked up. One second, I'll put this back on. And that's it. And I put some glue on here 
and a small amount on this edge, but the glue is removable. So this is completely reversible. This is a very non-destructive um, modification that I made, so I can remove it whenever I want. But as you can see, it works out pretty well. Without the cover on, you can definitely see what it's doing. I'll do another quick speed test. Yeah, they just illuminate, and it just shines through the existing uh, plastic on the uh, floppy LED. You can also see here, I had to put a piece of paper on that side, like so basically what uh, rests up against the power LED, so the red didn't shine through it because it kind of made it like a yellowish color. And uh, when you get the case on, like I said, it looks perfect. It doesn't stays green regardless of the access. And uh, that's pretty much it actually. I will put the lid back on here, the cover. And once again, like I said, I'll do a quick speed test. Works wondrously. Oh, and I'll zoom out. And that's it. And that's basically the video. So that's all I did. I just simply, and what's neat about those LEDs, they fit nicely between the, the, these ones here. And it's great. They still fit into the case. And like I said, it's not destructive, non destructive, and it works really, really well. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and uh, hope to see you soon. Bye.